Hey everyone, this is Big O. Uh, in this video, I wanted to make a quick video about Battletech. Uh, this video is going to tell you uh, pretty quick what the game is about. I like it. I love this game. So, Battletech it has a pretty good amount of history to it. Uh, basically, it's it's a, a game that involves mecha units, and these are based off uh, Mech Warrior. Now this one has gotten really good reviews on Steam. It's like 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10 on Google. I think on Humble it's like a 90, stuff like that. Uh, when it first came out, it had a few bugs. People, A lot of people complained that it, it went too slow and stuff like that. The turns were too slow, but they added updates where you can turn off the animations or speed them up. And I would definitely have a graphics card with at least a minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM to play the game at a decent uh, graphics. But if you want to play everything high, everything, all the animations and everything, I would have at least six. Now, in this one, you can play skirmishes or you can play career mode or the campaign. Right now, I'm playing the campaign. I've been playing it on and off for a while. I've played it about maybe, I don't know, 20 more so hours. But there are uh, season passes available and I have all those installed. Now, the game, uh, it reminds me of, I don't know if you guys ever played it, but XCOM. It's basically an XCOM with mechs, or uh, uh, what's that other one, Sino? I forgot what it's called, but it is basically XCOM uh, with mechs. So you end up having four mechs on the battlefield, and depending, uh, there's a lot of strategy involved. You can have scout mechs, heavy mechs, you know, stuff like that, um, different weapons. So the tactics and uh, are basically determined by the information you get before the mission and what you're trying to do so some missions you have to catch up to a you know a convoy or something so you want fast mechs some of them are like slugfest you have to fight it out so you want strong mechs it all depends but if you like XCOM you're you're definitely gonna like this game so so here's the interface screen and when you hit play here it advances the game lots of things can happen on your timeline you can have upgrades going on you could have injured mechs or damage mechs you could have injured uh, pilots and stuff like that um, you here you know is basically your interface for your ship the here's where you hire more mechs this is the store where you buy stuff the command center uh, well, I guess it can briefly show stuff like that you can all of these tech uh, I call them techs the me uh, mech warrior guys you can each one's has a different backstory different because they start off with different experience level so they might cost more or less like this guy's a defender stuff like that then you got the store self-explanatory you can buy mech units if you have to buy three parts to a mech to build it so right now for example i have zero of that one of that stuff like that now under the command center you you can do contracts that's where you get all your money and you start going through your mission like this is a part of the campaign uh, of the mission so when you play the campaign, uh, it, when it becomes available, your next one, the next, you know, to keep you going uh, during the story, it'll appear here. Or you can do other contracts. Like I said, there's depending on, on the contract. Some of them it's like slugfest. Some of them uh, are you're an escort. Some of them you have to defend stuff like that. Now, yes. here you can talk to different people that are in your ship and stuff like that. But I've already talked to all of them, so. Anyway, so we go to the barracks. You got the mech warriors here. This is where they chill, I guess, and this is where you can uh, increase their experience. So here with this guy, which is me, that's my guy, Sysop. Uh, you can train them, stuff like that. Apply points to train them. I'm ready. And they each one yeah, learns commander. points, and they get to start doing cool stuff uh, and earning more uh, cool things. Here's my memorial wall. With Pilots who've died, they go on a memorial wall. Um, the mech bay, the more upgrades you do to the ship, the more mech bays you'll be able to have. So the more mechs you'll be able to have up and running or be in, uh, be in service and stuff like that. Uh, it costs money to make keep mechs ready to go. So most of the time I just have like six of them ready to go or eight. I think you can do up to like 12. So usually I do like six because it costs money. But see, I have right now, I have those. So there's bay two and bay three. Usually I only have a few, but it, you, you're gonna have different varieties like missile boats. You're gonna have sniping ones, you know, stuff like that. Um, work done, Commander. I don't want to talk to you, so. Come back anytime. 
for the max when you're in a mech bay you can refit them or this is where you repair them after missions so depending on the robot they can only carry so much weight and it'll tell you here the efficiency and whatever depending on the guns and the layout you have you, you know you can put jump jets on there you can put heat sinks like this guy doesn't have any heat sinks but I mostly don't ever have problems with him overheating I do have one heat sink over here I take that back so the, uh, things like this will tell you what you can have you can have one gun one laser one gun one little gun you know so depending on the mech will determine what of these you can fill available and how much they can carry and I like to have jump jets so I can jump on top of the hills because you can shoot better and you can shoot further so depending on the gun on the weapons you can find you can buy better weapons or sometimes you can find them on the map so some of these the regular ones will be um, they'll be blue sometimes you know really good stuff will be purple other colors um, oh they have a number like this one's three that one's three but that's where you do that so you, well, you'll drag it to a hard point here but then you also have to have ammo and ammo also takes up weight and then there's also better types of ammo too so uh, lasers you don't need ammo for because they produce you know the the mech produces power for them but they do take up weight the guns like these ballistic weapons you do have to carry ammo for them um, missiles you have to carry ammo for them as well I'll show you one of the the mechs that has uh, missiles on it like this little bastard it's called the Centurion he's got uh, missiles see and then you also have to have the ammo so he doesn't have that many heat sinks but he does have a lot of lasers and missiles sometimes I switch it up I like to have lots of lasers and stuff but yeah I mean that's that's pretty much it this for that so whenever they take damage sometimes your arms or legs can get blown off or different weapons can get destroyed off so the armor always gets repaired for free but the weapons have to be replaced so if they destroy these laser pieces in my chest they're gone I have to use other ones from my thing they, they're just so mag magically come back they'll be actually destroyed so if I don't have any more large lasers then I'm fucked I have to use whatever I have available to fit that back so laser heat sinks and stuff like that you almost never run out of but good weapons like let's say this is part the particle cannon here that's a, that's a normal one but you can sometimes have one that's plus plus or like a really good one that costs like a million dollars or something if that one gets blown up it's blown up it's gone you have to buy another one so um and then you know doing refits and adding weapons or changing the layouts it takes time and it takes money so that's where on the menu on the front where i was telling you about projects and stuff like that that's where that would show up so here we tell you depending on the weapons and the and the mech and, and you can also buy upgrades like better sensors you can buy better targeting you can buy better stability like uh, modules that you can add to the mech which take weight but it'll give you a lot of more perks you know you can buy stuff like that you install it here and this will tell you their stats uh, you can also change their colors on them see like that I guess I'll keep it like that but this tells you the finances and so you know how much money you're spending or whatever so that's pretty much it for that now if we were going to go to the store here as well we're telling you where you can buy pieces of mech so if you have three of these guys already these three parts of it and you need one more you buy it and boom your your engineering guy uh, automatically builds the mech for you and you just have to arm it so these go by tonnage so this guy's huge and it tells you all about it here and tells you what they carry stuff like that weapons like this one right here see this one's pretty good it's got that plus on there so it tells you what it does ammo you got generic ammo you got better armor uh, ammo equipment you can get uh, generic heat sinks, better heat sinks, heavy uh, jump jets, small jump jets, uh, stuff like that. Um, so the equipment here sometimes they'll have like stabilizing units, they'll have uh, cockpit, extra cockpit armor, stuff like that. But yeah, that's that's pretty much that. I guess then we got the engineering section. Here's where we do the ship upgrades. You can do power, you can do structure, depending on the upgrades you do will determine what other stuff you can build, like upgrades in the make base, stuff like that. So we got the navigation, here's the star map, and uh, we can view stuff, like, oh yeah, this is here, this is whatever, whatever, stuff like that. 
so this is you know telling you hey this is what's going on here how long it's going to take to get there challenges difficulties attributes whatever now the quarters here the captain's quarters we can go over finances and then, uh, a lot of this thing is a lot of times you'll have to do missions that you don't want to do to get money obviously so you look at my finances are really low so if we keep going this way next month i'll be broke well in two months i'll be broke next month after paying uh the thing i'll be at 169,000. right now i'm at 322,000. so here's the reputation that you earn by doing missions by doing stuff and um yeah here we can customize our colors for our mechs i just pick whatever so yeah so that, that's pretty much it uh, i mean i can uh, show you guys a little bit of action here i guess i can do that let's see what we got going on so we'll get a contract oh let's pick an easy one um, there we go so i'm going to want more money than anything so i'll just do that so since i'm going to be fighting i'm going to take my biggest mix Or the heaviest, I guess. So then I do my most experienced pilots. And then we deploy. The dropship has a weight limit, so it'll be here. We'll deploy. And I'll speed this up, but. So briefly, I'll go over the controls here. So, see, like I have to take him out and get to the evac zone. Okay. But Let's you do, do some this. pretty good zooming, stuff like that. When you click on the max, each this is the weapons that you have. Now you can pick each weapon and buy better weapons or find better weapons once you complete missions, and you'll be able to equip them in in the mech bay before missions. So. You also have to think about the ammo and the weight of these guys. So I'll show you all that here in a minute. But you click on one of these guys and you actually literally take turns. So here I'm going to sprint my way forward. And when you sprint, when you sprint, you can go further. But you can't do anything after you land there. And whenever you can, you want to take cover in trees because it, it provides protection. So I don't know where the enemy is. So I'm just going to sprint forward. And you can also change the direction the guys looks before you finalize it. So if you turn this, that's the direction of their fire. Affirmative. So sometimes I like to do like a circle just in case wherever they might come from. But depending on the on the weight of your mech, will determine how far they can go. Like this guy can go further than all these other ones because he's lighter. Um, also, you can on your mechs you can customize them with. You can max them out with a bunch of lasers and a little bit of heat sink, stuff like that. I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'll show you that in a minute. So I just want to show you a little bit. Of Waiting for orders. Here it will tell you the damage areas of your mech and how much armor you have. So this guy has all that armor. The white is the armor and the gray is the internals. So sometimes you might get hits and they'll hit your armor and they'll start peeling your armor off or whatever, damaging it all. Other times it might get lucky hits and some of your ammo might blow up and it'll start deteriorating or burning, making explosions and stuff like literally pieces of your arm or your mech will fall off. So it's pretty cool. You'll see those animations and also you have the ability sometimes if you get lucky, Waiting for order. you'll hit the mech guy and you can kill the pilot. So it's always pretty cool. But a lot of times I swear that the CPU or the AI you're fighting will always do like sniper shots and take out your dudes like that so like I said the graphics right now are like at high or medium for me but once I get my better graphics card I'll be able to play ultra Confirmed. now don't speed this up so you can see them there you can see them but you can't see them it's kind of like the fog of war so I guess I could just go over there. So here's where I was telling you where you know, I clicked on that enemy. And sometimes you can aim where you want to try and shoot it at. Now, 
when you do this is usually when they get knocked down you'll be able to to aim and and uh, stuff like that this will tell you what how much armor they got or whatever but when sometimes you'll be able to knock them out because stability is also important so here you have to watch out for uh, stability like the terrain you have to watch out for uh, conditions like if there's water you can be in water and find all your lasers or all your hot weapons because uh, when you're firing weapons your the, the heat will build up on your mech so you have to have heat sinks to cool that down you can also have jump sheds that will help you navigate jump around mountains and hills and stuff like that but that also produces heat so heat is a big factor in this game energy is a big factor there's a lot of stuff you have to watch out for it's very tactical so let's see we'll fire here see like right here this tells you the opportunity that of, of a hit it's at 45 percent so this guy's also he's guarded so there's 20 percent less damage as he's going to take and not only that 50 percent because he's entrenched so we're still going to fire but see that was terrible and you see some of his armor fell off so you see the hits and my guys will sometimes say minimal damage commander each one has their own little personality. It's it's pretty neat. Location confirmed. Can I fire on anybody? No. Okay, we'll just uh some some of these abilities take resolve and resolve is built throughout the turns. So the more resolve the better. Once you get to a certain level of resolve, everybody gets a boost in their attacks and their de defense and stuff like that. So depending on your pilot and how well they do will give you abilities too like this guy i've used him for a while so he has the ability to multi-target that means i can target this guy this guy and fire and pick different weapons here and, and shoot them um one right after the other so i'll shoot the, the guy or let's say he's a here in front of me first and then b so depending on your pilot and what uh, training you give them will determine what abilities you're able to use when in battle and on maps I pretty much like, try to specialize in different fields for each one of them because some of them are really good at recon, some of them are really good at slugging and fighting, some of them are good at sniping, you know, it just depends. Warning. Armor low. See, so that hit right there is telling me the stability after that hit. Uh, that yellow bar, the little bars on the bottom, uh, or green, yellowish thing, it looks like mustard. Once it gets all the way to the right, a big enough hit would have knocked me over. So right now I'm not as stable as I could be. So, yeah. Receiving you. Receiving you. Can I jump jet? No, I can't jump jet with that one. I'm trying to. Well, she's the only one I can go with. Ready for orders. So we'll just aim at you. Damn, I can only do missiles. Acknowledged. Guess I'll just brace. You see, so the structure's exposed now. Warning. And it always does more damage. So, damage. See? My armor's just falling off. Damage minimal. So I'll keep once I get to the extreme unsteady spot, then I'll fall. And when I fall I can take way more damage. This guy, I'm gonna multi target. I'm gonna use an ability. So, A is gonna be that. A is gonna be that. B is gonna be that. And B is gonna be that. Oh no, that's horrible. So, I'm picking the targets here. That's B and B. So, yeah. I want to see if I can show you guys some of these guys' 60% uh, damage reduction. That's pretty good. Damage is minor, I want to show you guys some of my Receiving you. body parts falling off. So I'm just going to move these guys into the way. Roger. Targeting for an alpha strike. Ready for when you fire all weapons at once, it, it's called a... a Alpha strike, and some units can do that way better than others. Let's see what happens here. So this is the PPC is a, it's like a uh, 
a rail cannon, a rail gun. On it. Let's see if this shot, hopefully, you know. You see that? You see my arm flying away? That's pretty cool. So that can happen. Legs and blown off. Be blown off. They're lucky. The pilot. The pilots can also get hurt if they get hurt three times. They die. So you also got to worry about that. And uh, that's pretty much. That's pretty much combat there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's a quick video or as quick as I could make it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Comments. Leave. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, like this. Like. Follow me. Um, I try to. I put uh, upload a bunch of videos or maybe two or three a, a week um, I've done a lot in a short amount of time so I might slow down to one a week but I've done maybe about 15 <laughs> videos in the past two weeks maybe even 20 they're all random different ones so just check me out I'll keep you entertained or I'll a little bit entertained I, I might disappoint some people but it'll be uh, it'll be interesting whatever just add me subscribe Share, like, whatever. Love you, bye.